MAP4C 6.5 Rational Exponents. A rational exponent is defined as an exponent that has a fraction. So what we're going to look at is a to the 1 over n. This is the nth root of a. That is, a to the 1 over n is equal to the nth root of a. These are two different ways to express the exact same thing. n is a natural number, meaning it's a positive value. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. a is greater than or equal to 0 if n is even. So, 4 to the exponent half, the denominator of the exponent is the root. So 4 to the half is the same as the square root. We always assume that the root is square with the symbol. And the square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Let's try this with 27 to the exponent 1 over 3. So the denominator of the exponent is the root. And if we take the third root of 27, or cubic root of 27, we get the value 3. And this is true because 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 again is 27. So it's the cubic root of 27. It can be helpful to figure out how to do this on your calculator, and it's important for establishing how to do this to be able to evaluate these expressions. 1024 to the exponent 1 over 5 is equal to the fifth root of 1024. Notice the denominator is the root. And this is equal to 4. And you can check on your calculator that 4 to the power 5 is equal to 1024. So let's look at a base, A, that has a rational exponent with other values, m and n. The numerator and denominator both have a value. So the nth root, as we have established, is the root or the denominator is the root of the base. The numerator of the rational exponent, m in this case, we treat as we always have treated the exponent. It means repeated multiplication. Notice that you can apply these in any order. You can take the root of a, the nth root of a, and then apply the exponent in the numerator, or apply the numerator to the base, and then take the square root, you'll get the same result. So it's preference. Sometimes it's easier to do one with mental calculation. Um, so do whichever one is easier for the context. m is an integer, n is a natural number, and a is a positive number if n is even. So let's look at 8 to the exponent 2 over 3. In this case here, I went with the cubic root. If the denominator is the root, that will make the number smaller. The cubic root of 8 is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8. So 2 is our cubic root of 8. Then we apply the numerator, just as we always have for exponents. So 2 squared is 2 times 2 equal to 4. Let's try this again. 25 to the 3 over 2. So notice that I prefer to take the root first because it'll make the number smaller. The square root of 25 is 5. The numerator is applied as usual. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 again is 125. So let's look at solving equations using this technique. Solving for the base in a power. So another term for an exponent is power. So x to the power 4 is equal to 16. What we can do is take the um, base and express it as something to the power 4 so that the exponent is the exact same. 
So then we can say that x is equal to 2. If we were to look at a graph, an exponential curve, as we've seen, is continuously increasing the entire time. So there is only one value of the base in which this is equal to 16. Only one time that it would pass through the height of 16. So there's a definite answer for x to the 4 is equal to 2 to the 4. Is the only time that that could happen is when x is equal to 2. Next, x to the 3 over 2 is equal to 27. So a technique that you can apply is opposite operations. Remember, the opposite of 3 over 2, or the reciprocal, notice that the left-hand side and right-hand side each have the reciprocal exponent applied to it in order to solve. Because power of a power rule, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3, these cancel, or you end up with 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. We've isolated our variable x. It's now x to the power 1. Good, now we have to evaluate the right-hand side. Let's take a look at the result. We've raised each side, left and right-hand side, to the power 2 thirds. So we'll apply the root first. The cubic root of 27 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. All right, example two. Under annual compounding, a principal of $700 grows to $900 in five years. Remember that principal means the original amount invested. Determine the annual interest rate. So if you can recall the compound interest formula, we have the amount that's after the money has been invested ends up being 900. That was given the principal or initial amount invested in a lump sum was $700 and it was compounded annually so every year for five years so n is five. If we substitute our given information into our formula remember given what's unknown the interest rate is unknown then we have our equation We've substituted in our values, and now what we need to do is solve for the unknown variable. But that variable is inside of this equation and tough to get at. So let's undo all the operations that are affecting it. We have addition, we have this root. It's easiest to get the exponent undone. We can do that, the opposite operation of to the power five is the fifth root. So notice that on the right hand side, I have this exact expression to the power of one over five. And if I do something to the right hand side, I have to do it to the left hand side. However, notice that I used a different notation. I could have just as easily taken 900 over 700 and expressed that to the power one over five. So a calculator is definitely needed for this calculation. I've rounded to four decimal places and indicated that I've rounded. Then, if, notice this opposite operation. The reason why this works is five to the power one over five. That's multiplication because of the power of a power rule. Five divided by five is one. So we have one plus i is equal to this value i has one being added to it so we subtract one from this side and we can subtract one from this side we'll be left with just i and this has been rearranged to be able to express this with our variable i isolated on the left hand side and remember that i in the compound interest formula is expressed as a decimal so 0.05 is approximately equal to five percent rounded to the nearest whole percent. Good luck.